Have you ever wondered about the tallest peak in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro? This towering giant standing proudly at an impressive 5,895 meters is not just the highest point in Africa, but also one of the most iconic landmarks on the continent. Its snow-capped peak, a stark contrast against the surrounding African plains, is a sight to behold, even from miles away. Kilimanjaro is a beacon of natural beauty, a testament to the vast and varied landscapes that Africa has to offer. This majestic mountain isn't just known for its height, it's also a dormant stratovolcano, formed from volcanic eruptions millions of years ago. And despite its location near the equator, Kilimanjaro's summit is a unique sight capped with glaciers and snow. So what makes this mountain so special? Well, it's more than just a mountain. It's a symbol of Africa's natural grandeur. Standing tall at 5,895 meters, Kilimanjaro indeed dominates the African skyline. What if you knew that this African giant is a sleeping volcano? This might seem surprising, but it's true. Kilimanjaro, the majestic mountain that towers over the plains of Tanzania, is not just a mountain, but a dormant stratovolcano. It was born of fiery eruptions millions of years ago. The volcanic forces that shaped it also sculpted its three distinctive cones, Kibo, Mawenzi, and Shira. The highest of these, Kibo, still holds the potential for volcanic activity. But fear not, the last major eruption that rocked this towering giant took place around 360,000 years ago. Today, Kilimanjaro's volcanic origins are visible in the rich, fertile soils that blanket its lower slopes, a testament to the powerful forces that once shaped it. So while it's been quite a long while since Kilimanjaro last roared, its volcanic legacy lives on. 360,000 years since its last major eruption, Kilimanjaro still stands as a dormant stratovolcano. Snow on the equator ever thought of that? Our planet, in her infinite wisdom, never ceases to surprise us. And Mount Kilimanjaro is one of her most striking paradoxes. Towering above the Tanzanian plains, this dormant stratovolcano sports a cap of ice and snow. Yes, you heard that right, it's a spectacle of snow and ice right here on the equator. This icy cap is no recent addition. For centuries, the summit of Kilimanjaro has maintained its frosty exterior, a remarkable feature for a mountain located near the equator. The glaciers and snow that crown the peak have withstood the test of time, creating a unique landscape that intrigues scientists and attracts adventurers from around the globe. These glaciers are not just ice. They are frozen time capsules, preserving millennia of climate history. Kilimanjaro is thus a living testament to the planet's past and a symbol of the climatic paradoxes that abound on our Earth. Despite its equatorial location, Kilimanjaro defies the odds with its icy cap. Did you know that Kilimanjaro is not just one, but three volcanic cones? That's right, the towering majesty of Kilimanjaro is a trinity of volcanic cones, each with its own unique tail. First, we have Kibo, the highest of the trio, standing tall with a dormant status. Its peak is the actual summit of Kilimanjaro, graced with the snow-capped glory that has become an iconic image worldwide. Then there's Mawenzi, rugged and jagged, a testament to the tumultuous volcanic activity of yesteryears. Though it doesn't match Kibo's height, its challenging terrain and sharp ridges make it no less impressive. Last but not least, we have Shira, the oldest of the three. It's extinct now, its once fiery spirit quelled by the passage of time. Shira's caldera, a broad sweeping plateau, is a silent reminder of the mountain's vibrant past. Three cones, each with its own story, assemble to form the majestic Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro, a mountain that stands alone. This monolith of nature defies the conventional image of a mountain, not as part of a sprawling range, but as a singular entity. It is the world's highest freestanding mountain, a title that underlines its unique stature. Kilimanjaro juts out from the Tanzanian plains, rising to a staggering height of 5,895 meters, or 19,341 feet. This is no ordinary mountain. Its solitary presence is a testament to the geological forces that sculpted it over millions of years. Its grandeur is not just in its height, but in its independence. It stands apart both literally and metaphorically from other mountains. This is a marvel of nature that has intrigued explorers, scientists, and adventurers for centuries. Rising from the surrounding plains, Kilimanjaro stands as a solitary marvel 
A mountain of many faces, Kilimanjaro is a habitat of remarkable diversity. From its base to its icy summit, it boasts a unique array of ecological zones, each with its own distinct plant and animal life. The lush rainforest at the mountain's foot is a cacophony of life, teeming with a variety of species from chameleons to colobus monkeys. Ascending further, the rainforest gives way to the heath and moorland zones characterized by giant heather and senecio plants. The alpine desert zone follows, a harsh landscape of sparse vegetation and extreme temperature swings. Finally, reaching the Arctic summit, life becomes sparse with only the hardiest of species surviving in such conditions. The quick transition from tropical rainforest to Arctic conditions is a testament to the adaptability of life. From rainforest to Arctic summit, Kilimanjaro is a testament to nature's diversity. For many, Kilimanjaro is a challenge waiting to be conquered. The mountain offers several routes to its icy summit, each a unique journey with its own set of trials and tribulations. The Meringue route, often referred to as the Coca-Cola route, is one of the most popular. It's known for its well-established path and the comfort of hut accommodations. But don't let its popularity fool you, this route is no walk in the park. Other routes, like the Machame and Lemosho, offer more scenic paths, taking climbers through Kilimanjaro's diverse ecological zones from rainforests to alpine deserts. These routes, while longer and more physically demanding, provide climbers with a more intimate experience with the mountain's breathtaking landscape. And then there's the Umbwe route, the hardest and least frequented path reserved for the most seasoned climbers. With each route offering its own set of challenges, reaching Kilimanjaro's summit is a climber's dream. But Kilimanjaro is changing and not for the better. This majestic peak, despite standing close to the equator, has been capped with snow and ice for as long as mankind can remember. But now its icy crown is shrinking at an alarming rate. This isn't just a seasonal change. It's a symptom of a larger, more concerning issue, climate change. The glaciers of Kilimanjaro have been melting rapidly, losing more than 80% of their mass in the past century alone. This isn't a slow thaw, but a rapid retreat. Scientists have been documenting this phenomenon, and their predictions are grim. If this trend continues, and there's no reason to believe it won't, in a few decades, the snow-capped peak of Kilimanjaro might be a sight of the past, a chilling reminder that even the tallest giants are not immune to the effects of our warming world. To the Chaga people, Kilimanjaro is more than a mountain. This towering behemoth, standing tall and proud, is deeply entwined with their culture and traditions. It is known to them as Kipu or Kibo, a testament to the mountain's three volcanic cones, with Kibo being the highest. The Chaga people, residing in the shadows of Kilimanjaro, have a myriad of traditions associated with this majestic peak. The mountain is believed to be the abode of their gods, a sacred place where the divine and earthly realms converge. Its towering height is seen as a bridge to the heavens, a conduit for their prayers and offerings. The mountain's ecological diversity, providing a plethora of resources, has also shaped their way of life, from the food they eat to the materials they use. In essence, Kilimanjaro is not just a geographical feature for the Chaga. It is a symbol of their identity, a manifestation of their beliefs and a source of life. Embedded in their culture and traditions, Kilimanjaro holds a special place in the hearts of the Chaga. The summit of Kilimanjaro, a sight to behold. Imagine standing on Uhuru Peak, the highest point in Africa, almost 6,000 meters above sea level. You've ascended from the lush rainforest, through heath, moorland, alpine desert, and finally to the Arctic summit. As you stand there, the world unfolds beneath you in a panorama of unparalleled beauty. The snow-capped peaks glisten in the African sun, a stark contrast to the vast savanna plains sprawling out below. The air is thin, the silence profound. You've conquered the world's highest freestanding mountain, a testament to human endurance and the irresistible lure of nature's grandeur. The sense of accomplishment is overwhelming, a moment etched in memory, a testament to your tenacity. You've joined the ranks of the few who can proudly say they've stood at the roof of Africa. Reaching the summit of Kilimanjaro, a feat of endurance, offers a view and experience like no other.